Do you know what is data structure and algorithm and why we need it? Nowadays, 1.145 trillion MB of data is generated per day. Now imagine if we want to search something in this much data, it will take years to search something in this data. Here data structure comes into the picture. Data structure are programmatic way of storing the data so data can be used efficiently. Consider data structure array which stores data sequentially. So the time complexity for searching element in an array is big of n. Means we have to iterate over each and every element of an array to find an element. If n is large like 10 raised to 18 then it will take years to search data in an array which is not feasible at all. Now instead of array consider we use another data structure called hash set which has constant time complexity. So in hash set for searching element we don't need to traverse all elements so this task can be done in seconds now you can see how we improve speed of our system just by selecting the right data structure data structure allows us to organize and store data in such a way that all items may not be required to be searched and the required data can be searched almost instantly while algorithm allows us for processing that data in meaningful way learning data structure and algorithm will definitely make you the better programmer there are some other real life example of data structures like for implementing application like instagram facebook linkedin very famous data structure called graph is used for implementing undo and redo operation in Microsoft Word and other editors stack data structure is used for checking spelling mistakes and auto complete the word in editors trees data structure is used for implementing back and front button in a web page we can use the data structure called link list let me know in comment section if you want me to create a separate video on this data structure you know which data structure is used to implement playlist of songs consider a song as a class which has few variables like artist lyrics all the songs in our system are objects of a song class when user adds a song into playlist then we will create another object of a song class and first object will point to the second object so we can go from first song to second song if we want to add third song in playlist then we will create another object and second object will point to the third object and so on so now we can access all the songs in playlist using the first song this data structure where all the objects of a class are linked with other objects is called as linked list and all the objects which are linked together are called nodes the first node which helps us to traverse the entire list is called as head node last node in the list will point to the null. In our current list every node points to the single node. So this linked list is called as singly linked list. Now imagine you are on the song 4 and you want to go back to song 3. Then in singly linked list we have to traverse the entire list again from head node to the third song. So it's a time consuming. So in the fourth node along with the storing the address to the next node we will also store the address of a previous node. Now we can directly go from fourth song to the third song and if we implement the same structure in all list then we can play second song after third song and so on. This data structure is a special type of linked list called doubly linked list because each each node stores the value of a previous node and next node. Now if we reach the last song means the last node is pointing to the null then playlist is finished and if we want to restart the playlist automatically then last node will point to the first node. So when we finish the last song in our list then first song will automatically play it. So this looks like a circular list that's why it's called as circular link list. Follow my channel for more. Do you know which data structure is used to implement an order list in any restaurant? Consider I own a hotel named Codeverse where I accept the order online. Now generally for the same food item whoever puts the order first will get the delivery of food first means first come first serve now suppose ross places an order for pizza and after ross monica and rachel places an order so whenever the first pizza is ready then we will deliver the first pizza to ross and second pizza will be delivered to monica and then last pizza will be delivered to rachel means whoever places the order first will get the pizza delivery first this operation where the first person who places an order will get the food delivery first is called as first in first out and the data structure which allows us to perform the operation is called as queue consider a queue as a line in front of any restaurant. Whoever is in the front of a line will get the food delivery first. Now assume we got an order from Ross, Monica and Rachel. Then we will add them into queue. Ross is now in the front of a queue. So whenever first pizza is ready then we will deliver the first pizza to Ross and then we will remove him from the queue. Now Monica is in the front of queue. So she will get the next order. Now if Chandler places an order then we will add him into the queue. Whenever second order is ready then we will deliver it to Monica and then remove her from the queue. Similarly next order will be delivered to Rachel and after is Chandler will get the order. Now if queue is empty means we have fulfilled all the orders. Now let's see how we can use a built in queue interface in a java. The queue interface is present in java.util package so we have to import it first. Since the queue is interface we have to implement the queue first. There are three ways to implement the queue. First is linked list implementation, second is array dequeue implementation and third is a priority queue. So while defining the queue we can select which implementation we want for that queue. In today's video we will use linked list implementation. 
to define a queue just create an object of a queue class and with the data type mentioned in angular bracket and after equal to operator use constructor for linked list class now your queue is ready to use so let's assume we got an order from ross monica and rachel so we will add ross monica and rachel into queue we can use add function to add into queue if you print the queue then you will find that ross is in the front of queue or you can use peak function to check who is in the front of queue now suppose the first order for pizza is ready so we will deliver that order to ross and remove him from the queue the remove function function is used to remove the data from queue now our chef is preparing order for monica which is now at the front of queue if chandler presses an order then we will add him into queue now the second pizza is ready then we will deliver it to monica and remove her from the queue and same when third pizza is ready we will deliver it to rachel and remove her from a queue when fourth pizza is ready then we will deliver it to chandler and remove him from the queue now our queue is empty which means we have delivered all the orders if you like do you know which data structure is used to implement the back and front button in web browser suppose we are navigating from page 1 to page 2 to page 3. Now when we press back button then from page 3 we will go back to page 2 and when we press back button on page 2 then we will go back to page 1. So in this scenario we are navigating to the last visited page. So this operation is called as last in first out that is before and the data structure which allows us to perform this operation is called as stack. Consider stack as a bucket that is closed from one side. So whatever you put last you can remove it first. It's the exact opposite operation of a queue. Consider web page as an object and we have to store these objects into the stack let's call this stack as an undo stack now when we move from page 1 to page 2 then page 1 will be added to undo stack and then we navigate from page 2 to page 3 then page 2 will be added to undo stack now we are on page 3 so whenever we press back button then we have to display and remove the page which is at the top of a stack so so if we press back button on page 3 then page 2 is at the top of a stack so we will display and remove the page 2 from a stack similarly if we press back button on page 2 then page 1 is at the top of a stack so we will display and remove the page one now our stack is empty so the back button will be disabled now to implement next button in a web browser we will use another stack let's call it as a redo stack when we navigate from page one to page two and page two to page three then our back or undo stack will have all these pages now when we press back button then we will push page three to redo stack and when we press back button again on page two then we will again push page two to the redo stack now if we press the next button on a page one then we will display and remove the page 2 which is at the top of a redo stack. Similarly, when we press next button on page 2, then page 3 which is at the top of the stack will be removed. And since now our stack is empty, next button will be disabled. Now let's see how we can use internal stack in Java. Java provides us with the stack which is part of a java.util package. So we have to import it. After it, we have to declare and initialize an object of a stack class with the data type in angular bracket. Its syntax is like declaring normal object of a class. First, it has a class name then data type in angular bracket, then name of object and after equal to operator, constructor of a stack class. Instead of string, we can also use and add objects of any class. We just have to replace string with the name of that class. Now our class is ready to use. Now suppose we are navigating from page 1 to page 2 and page 2 to page 3 and page 3 to page 4. So we will add page 1, page 2 and page 3 into our undo stack. Push method is used to add entries into stack and pop method is used to remove the last added entries from the stack. Now suppose user presses back button on page 4 then we will remove and display the top element from the stack which is page 3. If user again presses back button on page 3 then we will remove page 2 which is at the top of a stack. Similarly page 1 will be removed if user again presses the back button. Now our stack is empty so we can disable the back button. To check if the stack is empty or not we can use is empty method. You know which data structure is used to implement the emergency system in any hospital? In the hospital patient who needs immediate medical attention will visit the doctor first. This means priority is given to the patient patient who is in critical situation. So it doesn't matter who comes first or who comes last. Whoever needs an immediate medical attention will visit the doctor first. In other words, the patient with the most critical situation is in the front of a queue and the patient who doesn't need immediate medical attention will be the last. So we need a data structure that will sort the data according to some priority. This data structure is called as priority queue. Each element in priority queue has some priority assigned to it and the priority queue will sort the data according to that priority. So in our case, each patient patient has a priority assigned to it which is the severity of the disease. Whenever patient come to hospital then we will add them into queue. Now we have only one doctor available at the hospital with the name Joy. So doctor can treat only one patient at a time. Consider Ross and Rachel have the fever so they come to hospital for visiting. So we will add Ross and Rachel into priority queue. Now Chandler had a heart attack. He needs immediate medical attention. His problem is more severe than Ross and Rachel's problem. So Chandler will be in the front of a queue. Now Monica had some infection and she also needs some 
मेडिकल अटेंशन हर प्रॉब्लम इज मोर सीवियर देन रॉस एंड रेचल बट लेस क्रिटिकल देन चैंडलर्स प्रॉब्लम सो वी विल एड हर टू द सेकंड नंबर इन प्रायोरिटी क्यू नाउ द डॉक्टर विल फर्स्ट ट्रीट द चैंडलर देन मोनिका देन रॉस एंड देन रेचल इन दिस वे प्रायोरिटी क्यू विल बी यूज टू इम्प्लीमेंट द मेडिकल सिस्टम नाउ लेट सी हाउ वी कैन यूज प्रायोरिटी क्यू इन जावा फर्स्ट लेट्स क्रिएट अ पेशेंट क्लास विच विल हैव द पेशेंट नेम एंड हिस प्रायोरिटी वी विल ऑल्सो डिफाइन द कंस्ट्रक्टर एंड कंपेयर टू मेथड इन दिस क्लास कंपेयर टू मेथड इज यूज टू कंपेयर टू आर मोर ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ अ क्लास नाउ व्हेन वी ऐड दिस ऑब्जेक्ट्स इनटू प्रायोरिटी क्यू देन वी शुड टेल द प्रायोरिटी क्यू दैट व्हिच ऑब्जेक्ट शुड कम फर्स्ट दैट इज व्हिच ऑब्जेक्ट हैज द हाईएस्ट प्रायोरिटी सो द कंपेयर टू मेथड इज यूज्ड फॉर इट फॉर द सेक ऑफ दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव थ्री प्रायोरिटीज फर्स्ट वन इज अ क्रिटिकल सेकंड इज अ मॉडरेट एंड थर्ड इज अ माइनर सो पेशेंट विद प्रायोरिटी वन इज अ क्रिटिकल प्रायोरिटी क्यू इज अ पार्ट ऑफ java.util पैकेज सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू इंपोर्ट इट नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू क्रिएट एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अ प्रायोरिटी क्यू क्लास इन मेन मेथड इट्स सिंटैक्स इज लाइक क्रिएटिंग ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ एनी अदर क्लास दैट इज फर्स्ट नेम ऑफ अ क्लास इन अवर केस इट इज प्रायोरिटी क्यू देन डेटा टाइप्स इन एंगुलर ब्रैकेट इन अवर केस इट्स अ पेशेंट क्लास देन द नेम ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट एंड देन कंस्ट्रक्टर ऑफ अ क्लास नाउ सपोज रॉस एंड रेचल केम टू हॉस्पिटल सो वी विल क्रिएट एन ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर देम एंड देयर प्रॉब्लम इज माइनर सो वी विल सेट देयर प्रायोरिटी एज अ 3 आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग एन ऑब्जेक्ट वी विल ऐड देम इनटू प्रायोरिटी क्यू नाउ चैंडल केम टू हॉस्पिटल ही हैड अ हार्ट अटैक सो वी विल क्रिएट एन ऑब्जेक्ट विद अ हाई प्रायोरिटी व्हिच इज प्रायोरिटी 1 एंड देन ऐड देम इनटू क्यू नाउ मोनिका केम टू हॉस्पिटल बिकॉज़ शी हैड एन एलर्जी व्हिच इज अ मॉडरेट प्रायोरिटी दैट इज प्रायोरिटी 2 सो वी विल क्रिएट एन ऐड ऑब्जेक्ट इनटू द क्यू रिमूव फंक्शन इज यूज्ड टू रिमूव एलिमेंट विद द हाईएस्ट प्रायोरिटी फ्रॉम द क्यू सो व्हेन वी यूज द रिमूव फंक्शन देन इट विल रिमूव द चैंडलर फ्रॉम क्यू एंड वंस रिमूव्ड डॉक्टर कैन ट्रीट हिम सिमिलरली नेक्स्ट टाइम मोनिका विल गेट रिमूव एंड आफ्टर इट रॉस एंड रेचल विल गेट रिमूव वंस द क्यू इज एम्प्टी मींस डॉक्टर हैज ट्रीटेड ऑल द पेशेंट यू कैन यूज द इज एम्प्टी मेथड टू चेक इफ द क्यू इज एम्प्टी और नॉट इफ यू नो व्हिच डेटा स्ट्रक्चर इज यूज्ड टू इंप्लीमेंट गूगल मैप्स गूगल मैप इज अ वर्चुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ऑल द सिटीज एंड रोड्स इन एंटायर वर्ल्ड सो कंसीडर एवरी सिटी एज एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ अ सिटी क्लास व्हिच विल हैव वेरिएबल्स लाइक नेम ऑफ अ सिटी रोड्स कनेक्टिंग टू इट एटसेट्रा नाउ कंसीडर दिल्ली एज अ सिटी इन गूगल मैप देन वी विल हैव एन ऑब्जेक्ट विद द नेम दिल्ली व्हिच विल स्टोर डेटा ऑफ अ दिल्ली सिमिलरली वी विल हैव अनदर ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर मुंबई सिटी नाउ इफ रोड इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन मुंबई एंड दिल्ली देन वी विल ऐड अ लिंक बिटवीन दिल्ली एंड मुंबई सिमिलरली कंसीडर बैंगलोर एज अनदर सिटी इन गूगल मैप सो वी विल हैव ऑब्जेक्ट विद द नेम बैंगलोर Now, if road is present between Bangalore and Delhi, then we will add link between them. Similarly, if road is present between Mumbai and Bangalore, then we will have the link between them. So, if road is present between city, then we will connect their objects with the link. So, we need a data structure where objects of a class are connected to each other. This data structure is called as graph. Each object in a graph is called as node. In current graph, we can go from Delhi to Mumbai and Mumbai to Delhi using the same road. So, it's called as undirected graph, where both nodes have same relationship with. Each other in some cases road only allows us to travel one way means we can go from delhi to mumbai but not from mumbai to delhi so this relationship will be represented by directed arrow similarly if one way road is present between other cities then it will be represented by directed arrow this type of graph is called as directed graph where relationship between nodes of a graph may or may not be same we have different algorithms available for graph like distract shortest path algorithm which allows us to find the shortest path between city and using such a graph algorithm Google Maps find the shortest path for us. If you like to know which data structure is used to take decisions in machine learning algorithm, consider Rachel wants to decide whom to date. She has four options. That is Ross, Joey, Chandler and Gunther. She uses various factors to decide about the guy. First, she checks if the guy is rich or not. Gunther has his own cafe, so he is very rich. If Rachel wants the richest guy, then she can go for Gunther. Joey, Ross and Chandler are moderately rich. Now, if Rachel wants a guy who is moderately rich and funny, then she can go for Chandler. Now, if she doesn't want a funny guy and she is just looking for something casual, then she can go for Joey. But if she wants something serious, then she can go for Ross. So, we need a data structure which will help us to take decisions based on some parameters. This data structure is called as tree. The first node in a tree is called as a root node, and using the root node, we can travel the entire tree. The node on the last level is called as leaf node, and usually the leaf nodes are the result that we are looking for. The tree you are seeing on the screen is called as decision tree, and such. a tree is built whenever we want to take any decision in any machine learning algorithm if you like this video then follow my channel for more such videos